Felzine in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get this eyeshadow look right here. I haven't done the rest of my face, I'm just doing the eyeshadow. It's all um, inspired by Tangled and Lost Princess Rapunzel. So we did the lovely Corona flag, which is purple with the yellow sun after the flower that gleams and glow. <laughs> And then I do have a question, guys, for you guys. Um, basically, I've been doing some Twitch streams, and I want your guys' feedback. Should I put those videos, the full stream, up on this channel? They're already coming up on this channel unlisted, but should I publish them when they're done? Keep them unlisted, or option three, just do highlights from each stream, and like in a 10 minute video. Because I'm only going to have one channel. I'm not going to make a separate channel. So I just want you guys' opinions of what you guys think. Keep it just makeup or add in the Twitch stream a little bit more with the gaming. And we might be doing some makeup looks in the future on there too. I just need to figure out how to get my DSLR working with this, the recording software. I thought I had it, but it doesn't actually work the way they thought it did. So I need to figure that out myself. But, anyways, let me know what you guys think, and let's jump into kind of the transformation of doing this look, and I'll be doing a voiceover for all of the steps that I did. So, let's jump into it. Alright, so I'm starting out with the Irma Decay Primer Potion in Eden, just applying that on both of my lids. Um, ignore any, like, orange eyeliner that I have or random green paint in my lids. I originally had done a different look. Um, the Jungle Book look that I did on Instagram. I'll insert a picture on the screen here um, right before I did this look. And actually I was kind of doing a Cheshire look and all my voiceover was talking about the Cheshire cat and that's why I decided to cut it out and just said do a voiceover because I was talking about a completely different look and then it morphed into do Tangled, which I really like how this look came out, but I just thought the vo what I was talking about was just so out of place for a video that I just decided to go with a voiceover. So apologies if you can see me like talking and if I was going to be planning that I was going to do a voiceover, I would not have like paused as often as I did and like look at different things and I would just have filmed the video completely differently if I had planned for voiceover. So, apologies. Um, I'm using a bunch of different eyeshadows. Um, this is a mixture of NYX In Your Element Air Palette, the Pigment Palace, um, their shade uh, Majesty from the Modern Royalty Palette, and then um, Urban Decay, one of the Basquiat pa palettes for the deeper purple. And I was trying to go for kind of a cut crease look, in a way, but not like a stark cut crease, just a little bit more of a difference. Uh, taking some ColourPop No Filter Concealer, it's all over my lashes, Ugh. but just kind of carving out a little bit less of the, more of the lid space, so it wasn't just all straight up the dark purple from the flag. Because again, at this point, I was still going to go with Cheshire Cat. Uh, this is a shade from the In Your Elements palette that's a purpley shade. And then this is where I decided it was only going to be a Cheshire Cat because I needed to do some stripage and stuff. And I don't know, I just wasn't feeling the Cheshire thing while I was doing this look. So I'm just adding some more purple in just kind of get back some of that thing and also pull in more of the flag element that Tangled has. And I think I've had pictures in the beginning. If not, there'll be pictures at the end. Yeah, I have the pictures at the beginning. Okay. Um, so just deepening up the crease with um, some more purple. I think that was the one from the Urban Decay palette. And now I'm just going to run that Urban Decay palette's purple underneath my lash line. And then add some more of that Pigment Palace purple underneath as well. You can see that kind of being built up here. And really makes my green eyes really pop. I mean, not completely. More brings out the, the hazily tones to it. But anyways, um, dipping it up a little bit more. And then, as you can see, I'm trying to talk. Uh, this is where I was just saying, oh, we're going to do Tangled. This is going to be Tangled. So that's why I added more purple. Now we're going to add Jeffree Star Valerio's Lucic 
in Drug Lord to create the sun, not the full sun, but just a good portion of the sun on both sides of my eyes. Um, just mapping it out in white first, so that way the white, the yellow really pops in side of that. Because I didn't think that the yellow with the purple, because they are very contrasty colors. I didn't want any brown to show up because of that that part from the color theory, which is why I put the white base down first on top of the purple. So you'll see me doing that here, just mapping in where I want the sun to be located on each of these. Again, I went with the flag um, for this part. And if you're wondering why I'm doing Disney, I'm doing... I had you guys vote on Instagram of what series to do, and everyone voted for Disney-inspired things. The other choice was Famous Paintings, if you guys were not aware. So I've been doing a bunch of Disney looks. I'll put a few more on the screen. I already showed the one earlier from the Jungle Book that I did. Um, so this is the Tangled one, which is just going to be a close-up of the eye. And then I put um, Queen Bee. This is also a Jeffree Star look that looks sick. Into my waterline, and I actually got it on my contact. So you will see that just randomly pop up throughout the video, and you can kind of see it on my contact. And my contact moves it around because of the torque to combat my stigmatism. So that's just lovely. <laughs> the yellow just kind of rotates around my eye. Um, but yeah, I don't think you can really see it yet, but you'll be able to see it very clearly later. And I think I even put like a remark on the video. I'm like, what the hell is this? But yeah, um, this is Queen Bee, and I'm just using that to create that sun, which I think in the movie they said was representative of the flower, like a single drop of um sunbeam, or the sun dropped, did a droplet or something, it created the flower, which then gave Rapunzel her her healing powers that Mother Gothel um, exploits. Um, I'm using Crown now to make the sun more reflective. Because the flower gleams and glows, as the song suggests in the healing song. So we gotta have that kind of definitely showing. So that's why I put crown on top. I'm actually going to use some glitter in a little bit to highlight the, the actual center of the sun. As well as the inner portion. Oh, there is where you can see it. That <laughs> lovely yellow. <laughs> um, so taking diamond, also from Pigment Palette, still on the inner corner. And then I'm going to put crown on top of that just to make it kind of more lighter tone. But I'm going to use some glitter in a bit as well. I'm not just using the metallic -y glitter shades from the Pixar Palace. Um, but I do really like that palette. I really like it. And I love how supportive that brand is of just anyone who uses their product. Because they definitely appreciate their royals. So I love that. Um, so yeah, now I'm taking some NYX Glitter Primer. And putting that in the inner corner and then in that center section of the sun. And then I'm going to take some NYX glitter in gold. To put that in the inner corner and then in that center spot of the sun. To kind of just make everything have that pop. I don't know why. I'm just really into putting glitter on things at the moment. <laughs> so, <laughs> glitter! <laughs> Yay! I also use glitter for my Dory look. <laughs> I don't think I've done it in every look. I think just... Just these two looks so far from the Disney series, I've done that. But yeah, using gold glitter here. And then I'm going to grab some eyeliner just to kind of hide the band from my lashes. So this is just the usual one. I normally end up using the NYX um, Epic Ink Liner. And then I'm going to actually use a different mascara. I know. Sound the alarm, I'm using a different mascara. This is the Milk Makeup um, Kush Mascara, which is what I'm currently testing out to see if I like it any better than the Essence one. I will hold all thoughts to latch review, which I'm using it for about a month straight, and then I'll, I'll give you guys my opinion in that. Um, so yeah, and there we go. That's all done. I'm just grabbing my lashes here. I'm going to use Ardell um, Stacked. He has Studio Effects stacked Demi Wispy lashes. And it was like, they took a pair of their Demi Wispies and then they 
added some individual lash on the outside band, which is normally what I end up doing anyways with the Demi Wispies. Because I like the way that looks on them. So the fact that they just have these, like, done already kind of make me happy because I always end up pulling off that one piece that I want there when I take my lashes off or I take off the last glue at the end of the day. So these, I don't have to do that. So I have I grabbed a few pair of those for like $3 or so at Target. Um, so yeah, there we go. And then I'm just adding a little black liner to the top lashes just to make it look cohesive and so you don't see any gappage. And there's the final look inspired by the Corona flag from Tangled. I hope you guys all enjoyed and then we'll get back to the regular voiceover and meow. And here's the finished look, which I've only done just the eyeshadow. I have not done my brows or any of the rest of my face because we're just focusing on the eyeshadow, to be quite honest. It's all I really wanted to do in this video, so I like how it turned out. I hope you guys did too. If you did, give this video a big old pause up. There is yellow on my knuckle. I don't know how it got there. Um, subscribe to Jen Halpack, and I'll see you guys all in the next video, which is probably going to be a video game idea. I have an idea for something that I want to do, but I don't know if it's going to be next week or a different week, but I have a really good idea and I want to do it, so I think I will do that next week, and it's inspired by Mass Effect, so you guys can start trying to think of what the look is going to be, but that's what it's going to do, and also check out my Instagram. I'm doing a whole series on Disney-inspired movies, or Disney movies, but inspired looks from those Disney movies. This is one of the looks in the series. I thought I'd do one of the ones on the channel just for some funsies. So hope you guys liked it. I already did all the outro stuff. So I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!